I think it's very important to talk about inclusion because the, the, it's fabulous, love for all for me, is a fabulous occasion to show people that you can succeed in the business world while being different. A lot of people think that their difference is something they need to hide or something they need to, you know, smooth or, you know, find ways to fit in into the mass. And all my career, you know, since my younger age until, you know, my L'Oreal years and recently, I always try to make my difference as a business tool, not just as something that needs to be, you know, hidden, etc. So for me, it's important to speak in front of all these people to show them that it's possible to be different, it's possible to bring different and new things, and it's even better than possible, it's probably the source of success, so, so that they feel confidence. It's very important to give confidence, and the best way to give confidence is by giving your own example. When I was 13, 14 years old, I was different. You know, I was putting makeup on my face. Normally, boys don't put makeup, especially in my country. You know, my country is Algeria. It's very conservative still today. But, you know, this difference made me understand that people, you know, they, you, can, you can transform your difference into a strength if you say to people something interesting. Because being different just for the sake of being different is not enough. You have to show that your difference allows you to take people with you to somewhere else. And this is the way I worked in business. I always took my team and the products I was in, in charge of, etc., to another level using my difference. You know, when I was the CEO of L'Oreal, I tried to bring my difference. I tried to say, let's do things differently. And it was really a source of success and business. So that's the only way, by the way, the world accepts you. Because you show them that your difference can become profitable. Impressionism. Impressionism is when you do like Monet, etc., when you paint with small touches. So for me, the recipe, sorry, uh, the recipe for me was to do things in small touches. And you end up building a whole image after a few years. Not sudden, this is my own recipe. It doesn't mean that it works for everyone. But for me, it worked because I did things touch by touch, one step after the other, and it was natural. It was natural, you know, I was doing my work, my business, creating successful products for L'Oreal, for Lancôme, and at the same time creating Sue, who I am, by small touches. And this works, because at the end of the day, people don't even notice, because it's fluid and natural, and not something that's from one day to another. But some people might maybe feel better to do things in a more, I should say, cut thing, but this is not my personality. Companies should treat people exactly the same way. That's the best advice I can give to companies. Don't treat minorities differently. Treat them the same way you treat everyone else. I think it's very important that people feel all equal because you don't want minorities to be treated in a way where the majority will say they are favorized and you don't want minorities to be too much, you know, feeling under the light because maybe they want just to fit in. So I think the best thing is to treat everyone the same way, to give everyone the same rights, but also the same duties. So that's the main, I should say, recommendation I would do for big corporations. And you know, when I was young, there was something in French we say, uh, le droit à la différence, le droit à l'indifférence. If I can translate it in English, it's you have the right to be different, but you also require the right to be different without anybody noticing, being indifferent. We don't want people to say, oh, you are like this because you are different. You are like this because that's the way you are born and, and you are part of the diversity of my company. You are just one part of the global image. So this idea of treating people equally, I think, is a key one. The companies are understanding that this is vital for them to be inclusive because it's good for business outside selling products but it's good also for those who are into the company. If you want to attract the biggest talents, you have to show a strong image of inclusivity 
and also social responsibility. And no company today can dare to say, I don't care about inclusivity, I don't care about this or this, because if you say that, the talents won't come to you. So companies are really into this idea that to succeed, this needs to become more natural. And that's what I usually say. Today, it's a box that most companies tick because there is someone working in the image or the uh, social responsibility area that says this is important. But I think this is going to become very important the day where it's going to become natural. You know, promoting someone should be as natural as, you know, um, making a decision about launching a product or not, you know. It's not about I do it because you represent this. Because when I was at L'Oreal, I knew that I was good for the image of the company. And that's why they pushed me to do a lot of interviews, because I was good. When I left the company, I saw that they were changing and pushing more and more people like me. Because they saw that at the end, it's good for the company. And it attracts talents and makes business more profitable.